Hey, we're here in Perth Zoo on Lemur Island with these beautiful, amazing animals. And Lauren here is going to tell us and feed them uh, and tell us all about these, uh, these amazing lemurs. They're just, they love to jump around. So can you tell us a little bit about? Absolutely. So these are our black and white rough lemurs. Um, they, <laughs> they provide us with a, a bit of a difficult enrichment schedule with these guys. Um, <laughs> and entertainment. And course. entertainment, absolutely. Um, so we've got three of our little boys on here. Uh, the oldest one, Mafuti, is 10 years old. Then we've got Marco, and yes, his brother was called Polo. And we've got Fodzi here, who's a bit of a different lemur. He does like a little bit of a pat um, occasionally. But we do treat them as wild animals. They're definitely not our pets. As okay. in the wild, it is the biggest, one of the biggest causes of declining numbers. Oh, okay. The illegal pet trade. If you want to put okay. some stuff on yeah, that absolutely. Side as well. um, so, so what are they here in the zoo, or what's your plans with them? Are you helping the species? Absolutely. So Perth Zoo is a modern zoo. Uh, we do, we hold collections here to educate people um, coming through the zoo, of course. Um, and through that, people will do their bit in. Uh, they will do their bit for conservation here by just raising a bit of awareness, maybe a little bit of money. And best case scenario, people actually go to Madagascar and actually help with the wild population oh, okay. there. So having them in, in a zoo environment helps their wild cousins. There we go. <laughs> so this is Fozzie. He's definitely our friendliest uh, lemur. <laughs> and as I was saying, uh, there are three boys on this island as we do whole bachelor groups. Um, it is female domina dominated in the lemur world. Okay. They can have quite large groups centered around two or three dominant females and um, with their the subordinate males around the, the edges. Within that there is the dominant boys though. Uh, just And that's actually why they do their really loud barking <laughs> sounds. <laughs> Here we go. Most people think their barking sounds quite aggressive but it's oh, just okay. them setting their, their territories and getting their hierarchy. I can and, go in as well. And you can do this experience to come on the island and absolutely, it's a very um, it's a very fun experience. You, yeah, 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 you don't get hands on, but you're doing exactly what we're doing. We come onto the island and yeah, you get up close and personal with them. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, they stay up in the trees, like the two boys to either side of you. Um, <laughs> so I'll give them some more gra grapes. Are one of their favourite. Cool. Uh, we are quite cautious of their diet though, as grapes are also sugar bombs, uh, so it's a sometimes treat. <laughs> and these guys, <laughs> that is one of their main uh, ways of moving it's, around as well. No. Thank you so much to Perth Zoo for letting us come hang out with their lemurs on the island. I'll put a link in the description below to all the cool animals and conservation efforts that Perth Zoo does. Also, if you want to see more Cool360 videos, make sure you click this video box itself and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll have some amazing 360 videos down here in Australia. In the meantime, I hope to see you beautiful people soon and I'm gonna go play on a swing. Woo woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> see ya!